In the Star Wars series, the Rebel Alliance are always portrayed as being just and heroic against a tyrannical empire. However, was the Rebellion really as good as it appeared? Your methods are soft, Jedi. We lost the last war because of you. I won't lose this one. Stop! <laughs> Easy, soldier. You're not in command here. Now move it, bug! Now, the biggest thing to understand about the Rebels for this video is that they were always at a disadvantage. The Empire was constantly trying to track their agents down and eliminate the threat. For this reason, the Rebels had to act with extreme amounts of precaution. Now, as we did see from Rogue One, the Rebels do carry out some pretty questionable acts, such as assassinating politicians, cutting loose ends, and as we know, the Rebels didn't have the facilities to imprison or trial many of the Imperials that they captured or defeated. For this reason, it suggests some extreme Rebel groups did likely execute many of their prisoners. Needless to say, there were crimes carried out by the Rebels. However, there was crimes carried out by the Empire as well on a much larger scale. One of the Rebellion's greatest flaws was unity. Whilst the Empire was built behind one man's vision, the Rebellion remained very fractured up until the Battle of Yavin. Since aiding or participating in the Rebellion was so dangerous, the individual cells had a lot of trouble trusting one another, and many of them had very different ideas on how to deal with the Empire as a whole. While some, such as Mon Mothma, wanted to oust the Emperor by exposing him as a villain, many others wanted the Imperials destroyed and believed that terror was a weapon that could be used for this, in particularly one rebel cell that was led by Saul Guerrero. As we know, Guerrero was a veteran from the Clone Wars who had fought for the Republic. He was considerably militaristic and had little time for politics or negotiating. Now, rebellions need funding and resources were difficult to get. The Empire kept precise track of their shipments and knew which senators sympathised with the Rebellion, making it very difficult for them to give to the cause. For this reason, resources were scarce, and the more militaristic groups such as Guerrera's appropriately named partisans were far from the top of the list in need of aid. For this reason, some rebel cells started hiring their services out to wealthy benefactors around the galaxy as a form of anti-imperial mercenary group if you will. They could strike the Empire and make credits to continue their fight further in the future. The problem started when they were hired by an anti-imperial resistance group on the wealthy Midrim world of Inusaugi. This world had just reluctantly been colonised by the Empire, and the Resistance group required experienced agents, particularly human ones, to sneak into the celebrations that were being held for the Empire's takeover. In fact, Jin Erso had come under the patronage of Guerrera's group and was responsible for creating forged IDs to sneak into the party hosted by the new Imperial Governor. After successfully getting into the party, Guerrera's group unsheathed special flechette launchers they'd snuck in and fired into the waves of guests. Now, a flechette launcher is a weapon that explodes, releasing thousands of fragments of sharp dura steel, cutting through anything in the vicinity. This was a particularly cruel and very bloody and messy weapon. Now, in Guerrera's eyes, everyone at this party was an Imperial sympathiser who deserved death and this brutal act would likely strike fear into the Empire, especially because Inusaugi was so close to Naboo, Sidious' homeworld. However, this wasn't the case. Many of the guests at the party were innocents, who had no choice but to attend the events, as by not attending would arouse suspicion from their new Imperial overlords. As I mentioned, majority of the citizens didn't care for Imperial rule, they simply had no choice. It was a massacre, the entire ballroom was left in a bloody mess, majority of the fatalities were civilians, with a few Imperials. Now, these actions by Guerrera outcast him from the main body of the rebellion headed by Mon Mothma, and over the years, he would continue his militancy and believe that Mothma's rebellion was weak and would never succeed. Meanwhile, his actions actually did very little to fight against the Empire, as the massacre of innocents on Inusaugi was used by the Empire to justify their totalitarian regime and condemn the rebellion at large. Of course, it's arguable that Guerrera acted alone and not on behalf of the Alliance. However, it shines a light on how the Rebellion had very little control over its agents and how these sort of acts could happen in its name. But what do you think? Was the Rebellion ill-disciplined or was it helpless and doomed to fall victim to a few rogue agents? Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If so, please remember to like and sub as it's always appreciated and helps the channel grow. Also, follow me on Twitter at TheLawGuy for regular updates. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.